We're going to demonstrate phosphate coating weights today using a chromic acid solution. The first step in doing a coating weight is determining the surface area of the part that you're going to do, be doing the coating weight on. In this case we're going to use a test panel and this test panel is 2 inches by 3 inches and it's coated on two sides. So our surface area is going to be 2 times 3 times 2 or 12 square inches. So we're going to take that number and just jot it down for our calculations later on. Second step in doing a coating weight is to getting is getting an accurate weight on the panel. And that's in the as phosphated state. So we're going to put this on our balance and we're going to weigh it out to four decimal places. I prefer using a balance that goes out to four decimal places. You can do coating weights if you have a three decimal place balance, but anything less than that, you do lose some of the accuracy in the testing. So we've got a weight here. It's 22 grams, 0.5252. And we're going to write that down because we're going to need that number for our calculation later on. So now that we know our weight and our surface area, we're going to take this panel, put it on a hook, and submerge it in a 10% chromic acid solution that's been heated to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to put that in there, make sure it's completely submerged in the chromic solution, and we're going to set our timer for five minutes. Now that our five minutes has passed, we're going to take our panel out of our chromic acid solution, and we're going to just rinse it in water to get all the chrome residue off. And we're going to dry it. And I like to use my industrial strength blow dryer, so we're going to just pause for a second so you don't need to listen to it, but we're going to dry this up and let it cool. Our panel has been rinsed after our chromic acid dip and dried and cooled to room temperature. So the last thing we need to do before we do our calculations is take a weight on the panel after stripping. And we're going to record that weight in our little notebook. 22.3924. So the last thing we have to do is just our calculations. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract our weight before stripping. Uh, we're going to subtract our weight after stripping from our weight before stripping. So 0.5252 minus 3924 gives us a weight loss of 0.1328 and this is the number that we're going to uh, plug into our formulation to calculate coating weight. 0.1328 weight loss times 144,000 divided by our 12 inches square of surface area that we started with gives us a coating weight of 1,500 milligrams, 1,593 milligrams per square foot. So that's how we perform a coating weight analysis. It's basically a weigh, strip, reweigh, knowing the surface area that you're trying to calculate to and stripping in a 10% bath of chromic acid solution at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately five minutes. If you have any questions, please contact us at Heat Bath Technical Service. Thanks.